The film unfolds against the picturesque backdrop of a serene island in the Philippines. Amid this scenic setting, the story follows a young woman named Darcy. As the narrative progresses, Darcy crosses paths with a diverse array of guests who have gathered on the island. Central to the plot is Darcy's relationship with her boyfriend, Tom. The couple's love story takes a significant turn as they decide to tie the knot. However, tension arises from Darcy's mother, Eva, who remains skeptical of Tom's suitability. On the flip side, Tom's mother, Carol, and her husband Ben embrace the island's beauty and express their admiration for the upcoming nuptials. A poignant moment occurs when Carol bestows upon Darcy a cherished family heirloom, a cake knife. This symbolic gesture holds a deeper meaning, echoing the bridging of families through marriage. Amid the unfolding events, Darcy's father, Rob, makes his entrance accompanied by his girlfriend, Kat. Darcy's meeting with her father's new partner is characterized by warmth and joy. As the characters' stories interweave, the atmosphere is filled with the anticipation of the wedding. Tom's apprehension surfaces when he encounters Darcy's father, Rob. Despite praise from those around him, Tom remains uncertain about Rob's feelings towards him. Amidst discussions of the week's activities and arrangements, a dramatic entrance occurs, a helicopter landing with a man named Sean disembarking. The tension simmers as Darcy recognizes Sean, her ex-boyfriend and now Rob's business partner. This unexpected reunion stirs discomfort, especially given the history between them. Darcy's reluctance is palpable, underlining her unease about Sean's presence. Eventually, Darcy and Sean engage in an exchange, introducing him to Tom. This exchange provides insight into the character's complex history. The evening culminates in a rehearsal dinner, where both Tom and Sean take the stage to share their perspectives. Tom's heartfelt speech reveals his journey towards embracing marriage and his sincere love for Darcy. In contrast, Sean's speech carries a tinge of nostalgia as he reminisces about his past engagement with Darcy. An unexpected moment of levity ensues when Sean playfully uses a colloquial phrase, leaving Darcy amused. As the night deepens, Darcy and Tom find themselves alone in a room. Amidst Tom's preoccupation with work, Darcy seeks his assistance, leading to a tender moment of intimacy. This connection demonstrates the depth of their relationship. However, their conversation steers towards Sean. Darcy's candid revelation exposes Sean's transformation from a romantic interest to a money-driven individual following his business partnership with Rob. The narrative takes a humorous turn when Carol enters the room, bearing food. Carol's maternal wisdom shines through as she assesses the situation, playfully asserting the impossibility of intimacy on the eve of the wedding. This light-hearted exchange reinforces the theme of family bonds and shared experiences. Ultimately, the evening ends with Tom choosing to sleep in the same room as Darcy and her father. In the morning, a group of looters prepares to board a boat. From the boat, they spot Tom and Darcy's wedding destination. As Darcy gets ready, receiving compliments from everyone, she experiences inner discomfort with her wedding dress. Sensing something amiss, she messages Tom about her feelings. They arrange to meet at a different location, and there, Darcy appears without her wedding attire. She confides in Tom about her unease, and he also begins to realize that things aren't quite right. Despite her initial desire for a simple wedding, Darcy has gone along with the grand plans for Tom's sake. A heated argument ensues, resulting in Darcy breaking her wedding ring and storming off, leaving Tom holding the broken ring. Meanwhile, Carol notices that pirates have arrived, Chaos erupts as the pirates open fire and advance, seizing the guests. Amidst the turmoil, Tom witnesses the events unfolding. The looters seize the guests near a bridge. In the midst of this, Tom seeks out Darcy, finding her distressed in her room. Just then, Tom spots an approaching thug. He smashes through the door, entering the room. Tom informs Darcy about the looters' presence and the guests' capture. Darcy notices the thugs outside as well. The intruders conduct a thorough search of the premises, rendering phones and Wi-Fi useless. Tom and Darcy hatch a plan. They head to the shower, intending to use a spray to incapacitate a thug and then set him on fire. Their plan is disrupted when a thug barges into the room. Tom manages to overpower him, but Darcy accidentally sprays Tom's face. Subsequently, the thug restrains them, and his companions are informed that they're headed for the bridge. The thugs pile into a car, Darcy and Tom among them. Darcy seizes an opportunity to share her story with the captors. To silence her, they offer her a cigarette, unwittingly allowing her to douse one of the thug's heads with the spray. Darcy ignites it, causing a commotion that results in the thug's car careening toward a ditch. 
Amid the chaos, Tom and Darcy are thrown from the car. Amidst the struggle, Darcy and Tom confront another thug. In the ensuing altercation, Darcy seizes a grenade from the thug. In self-defense, Tom eliminates the thug, who had attempted to harm them. After subduing the immediate threat, Tom and Darcy continue onward. Meanwhile, the remaining thugs communicate with someone named Rob, informing him that to secure his daughter's safety, a transfer of $45 million is necessary. And then Rob says that if he finds his daughter alive, he will pay. Then Tom sees a grenade in Darcy's hand and he tells Darcy that there is no pin in his grenade. He warns her that as soon as she lets go, it will explode. They both decide to throw the grenade at the right moment and then contemplate their next move. Darcy takes out her phone from her underwear, but both realize there's no network. They decide to head uphill, where they spot a house. As they approach it, Tom is bewildered by the unfolding events. They reach the house and find a network there. Suddenly, goons attack them. In the chaos, Darcy drops her phone, but she discovers a zip line. Seizing the opportunity, they use the zip line to escape, with Darcy throwing a grenade at the pursuing goons. Landing on the other side, they glimpse their intended wedding destination. However, their joy is short-lived as they spot the police on the opposite side of the island. They approach a bridge and notice prisoners who are still alive, realizing their actions led to this predicament. In search of a solution, they enter a kitchen to free themselves from the zip ties. They attempt to use a cake knife but fail. Eventually, they find a cutter, but during the attempt, Tom gets injured. Despite the setback, they press on. Darcy hides while Tom faces an incoming goon. Tom overpowers the goon, reuniting with Darcy who feared he had abandoned her. Tom reassures her that he will never leave her side. Darcy tears her dress to make it more practical and arms herself with a gun. Tom finds a wedding card in the pocket of a deceased goon and admires Darcy's appearance. They proceed to the manager's room, intending to call the police online. However, they discover the internet is down. Realizing that goons are approaching, the manager leads them to a secret room below. Inside, they find the manager's assistant along with the injured Tom and Darcy. The manager expresses frustration at the recurring local robberies, which had occurred two months earlier. Something Darcy was unaware of, leading to her anger. The manager's assistant reveals she had informed Tom about the previous incident. Tom admits the odds of the robbers returning were low. As tensions escalate between Tom and Darcy, Darcy reflects on Tom's diligent nature often leading to mishaps. Tom counters that Darcy's confidence masks inner fear, attributing it to the past scene. Darcy denies his claim, blaming Tom for the situation. Tom accepts the responsibility. Meanwhile, Tom eavesdrops on Goon's communication through a walkie-talkie. The manager informs them that the goons are speaking a different language, neither English nor Filipino. Tom steps out, declaring he will handle the situation. Unfortunately, he is captured by the goons and taken to the gathering of guests. They inquire about Darcy's whereabouts, and Tom claims ignorance. The manager reveals the truth, and Tom agrees with the manager's account of events. Tom acknowledges that the scene's perspective is accurate. As the scene ends, Tom addresses the goons. And then the goon tries to kill Tom, and there Tom catches Sean. He tells everyone that Sean has hired these goons from Bali and he wants to steal money from Rob. Then the scene shows Tom burning him, but Tom refuses. He says that the local goons here don't attack one place again and again. Along with that, the goons know the meaning of Kani Kacho, which means they know the language of Bali. They pull out Sean's wedding card from their pocket. The scene kills Tom and captures him. On the other hand, the manager reads the messages of Darcy that Tom has prepared. He finds them very sweet, and Darcy cries. She says that Tom has always known her likes, but he is very bad and couldn't understand her. She promises to help him and comes with a gun. Meanwhile, Tom praises the scene and asks about Darcy. Tom remains silent, and they realize he's lying. Tom finally admits that they had seen the goons, burned them, and they escaped in a car that fell into a ditch. Darcy disappeared, and since then, both have been apart. Tom has come to save everyone. The scene decides to investigate and takes Harriet, Darcy's dad's girlfriend, hostage to prevent Rob from doing anything wrong. Later, all three arrive in a helicopter. And on the other side, Tom sees Darcy in front of him. She reminds him that he had promised to support her. She asks for forgiveness, and Tom forgives her. The goons capture Darcy and lead everyone into the water. Darcy can't fathom why everyone went to the scene, yet he took Harriet. The sisters reveal their ongoing fight. 
They share that they were kissing last night, and it was recorded and shown to everyone. This devastates Rob. Meanwhile, Tom discovers a broken car. The goon thinks that Darcy is dead, assuming he won't get the money. He threatens the scene. However, Harrod intervenes, throwing the goon out of the helicopter. They plan to take all the money themselves and move forward. On the other side, Tom sees the goons with a grenade. He says that he will marry Darcy right now. Rob intervenes, telling the goons that as soon as they get married, he will give them money. The goons exit. Tom and Darcy emerge, launching an attack on the goons. Darcy manages to wrest the grenade from their grasp. She asserts that if anything happens to her, she will detonate the grenade, taking everyone down with her. The goons flee the scene. Carol suddenly appears, wielding a gun. Tom takes the grenade from Darcy. On the opposite side, he hurls it at the goon, causing the guests to scramble. Tom and Darcy then head to a boat at the shore. They board the boat, promptly alerting the police from that location. As they await the authorities, the adversaries catch up. A confrontation ensues. Darcy finishes preparing the boat, allowing Tom to board just as the scene advances. Darcy and the scene battle, while Tom ensures his place on the boat. Simultaneously, Harriet brings a helicopter into the picture. Amidst the chaos, Tom and the scene fight on the boat. Darcy deploys a parachute, Tom and the scene dangle from it. Tom manages to clutch Darcy's wig, descending onto the boat. Working together, Tom and Darcy sever the parachute rope, ensnaring the helicopter. The parachute and helicopter plummet, along with the scene and the Harriet, resulting in an explosive end. In the aftermath, Tom and Darcy find respite in the boat. After a while, they reach the shoreline. Darcy expresses remorse for her recklessness. Tom presents a ring. Darcy seizes the opportunity to propose marriage. Tom's response is an affirmative one. He reassures Darcy, quelling her fears. She consents, and they unite. Shortly thereafter, they wed before the assembled guests. With an elated kiss, the culmination of this Batarian film comes into view.